What is going on you guys make it way back and here we are once again currently 4-0 on this battle royale run We have been playing absolutely ridiculous with this lineup right here putting up a ton of runs But hopefully we can keep on going working towards that 12-0 But if you guys are enjoying the daily BR runs make sure to leave a like on this video It really does help but let's get into this and try and make it 5-0. Taking a look at my opponent's lineup, he is the Carolina Tar Heels. He has Ted Williams, Robinson Cano, Carlos Correa, Edwin Encarnacion, David Wright, Dante Bichette, Johnny Damon, Derek Norris, and Chad Bettis on the mound. This could be a struggle, but we've got to win this game. Up to the plate is Kenny Lofton looking to be the lead off here. We are playing at Shea Stadium during the day. This definitely looks a lot different considering I play there at night every single time as I was on that one. This one might have a chance to get over his head and Kenny Lofton leads it off with the home run. Great start. Full count on Josh Harrison trying to find a way on base. Let's see if we can do it here. What's he going to give me? That pitch is up in the zone. I was kind of on it. This one is carrying. This one might have a chance. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we can do here with Joe Carter. Almost hit back-to-back -back home runs, but he's going to get a single that's what i'm talking about justin upton up to the plate trying to do some damage and i am all over that that could be another home run and it is we take an early 3-0 lead we are rolling on offense my opponent bringing in carter caps already in this one and oh my gosh that was good timing i just dropped my pci that was almost the third home run of the inning but what are we gonna get that's a fastball i am all over it with fisk and that's another base hit. Trevor Story up to the plate. He has been absolutely mashing for us so far. Let's see if that can continue. I don't think I missed that. I guess I did drop my PCI. So let's see what he's going to bring to us now. Oh my goodness. Carter Caps is absolutely disgusting. Another good timing though. Not too bad. But come on, Story. Let's put some contact. Put this ball in play. Wow. That was a rocket. Going up against the legend with our rookie pitcher or our common pitcher. I meant to say is this one is hit well, but Lofton is right there. Bringing in Justin Wilson against Robinson Cano with a two strike count because I do not want to walk this card or make a mistake. And I feel like Justin Wilson has a better chance of getting him out. Yeah, he does. 2-0 count on Carlos Correa. Not a very good idea. This card has a lot of power. That we do need to watch out for. But I don't want to walk him either. Let's go down. In oh my gosh. Every time I say I don't want to walk someone, I give up a bomb. That's all right. We still got a two-run lead. We have two outs. Try and get this man out. This is your last batter that you're going to face. So let's do our best to get him out. He has a ton of righties coming up. So Strickland will be ready to go if we do go any deeper in this inning. We're going to go with the curveball down in the dirt. Try to get him to chase. See you later. Let's see what we can do against Carter Caps. Trying to get that run back here. Is That's a curveball. I'm going to be late on it. Oh my goodness. Come on, Mike Schmidt. Find a way to get a hit off. Carter Caps is that's down in the zone. I felt like I was on it. Ike Davis into the game with that 96 power versus righties. Let's see if we can use it here. Oh my freaking goodness. Who expected a curveball up there? I definitely did not, but what are we getting? That's right down the middle, and I was all over that. Back to the top of our lineup with Kenny Lofton. Went dead center in his first at bat. Let's see what we can do here, and that's more like Kenny Lofton hitting a single. Watch, now I'm going to steal. Hopefully he pitches out, and I'm going to go ahead and go to second. That is going to be an off-speed pitch. You are not catching Kenny Lofton on an off-speed pitch. We have two outs. Come on, Josh Harrison. Find a way to get that run back as he gives me a fastball in. And I missed it. Hunter Strickland into the game. Going to try and keep him through this one. And then put Chapman in for the third inning because he does have those lefties coming back up. And I think Chapman will do better against the lefties as somehow he is able to hit this one. And we have a noodle arm with Kenny Lofton. So that's going to be a double. No outs. Runner on third. Dante Pichette up to the plate. And we give him a fastball right down the middle we definitely missed our spot there but come on let's find a way to get out of this inning without too much damage and we are struggling on the mound i really didn't want to do this this early in the game but i have to hunter strickland was not doing anything at all for us and i feel like chapman is going to be best to try and get this double play ball so let's see what we can do with him as he is going to foul off i did struggle with chapman the first time i used him but that's only because that weird play did happen as we go with the change up he is going to miss that one. So let's go high and tight here. There's no way he should be able to hit this pitch if he swings. And he is fouling it off. Come on. I need Chapman to come up clutch for me. He's the biggest pitcher in this game. Let's see if we can get him out. Yes, there we go. 
Oh, get him, get him at first, too. Come on. Oh, he got back. Okay, we're good. One out in the inning. Runner on first base. Only up by a run now after he was able to get that double with David Wright. But it's all right. We've got Chapman on the mound now. We wouldn't want any other situation with a one-run lead. Come on. Let's go with the fastball up. See if we can get the swing and miss. Okay, that's a little bit too high. I don't think anybody's really going to chase a pitch that high. But we're going back to a high fastball. And that is going to be out number two. Chapman doing a great job so far. I don't know where this guy is going. Oh, my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Throw him out of home, please. Don't give me this bull. Oh, my gosh. What? I honestly don't know what to say. That's, that's just ridiculous. An outfielder missing that. Like, what am I supposed to do? I have an easy double play. And then he just botches it like that. I don't understand what this game wants me to do. And just like that, instead of being out of the inning, we now have runners in scoring position with only one out in Chipper Jones up to the plate. Come on, man. We've got to bear down. Find a way to get out of it. That's one. This is scary, man. Ted Williams up. He's he's running home. Seriously? Let's see if we can get him at third, though. Throw it. Throw it home. Please throw it home, Mike Schmidt. Oh, my freaking goodness. This game in these animations need to be fixed because that is ridiculous i don't know what i'm supposed to do about those animations i'm getting scared i'm about to lose a game because of dumb animations and that's just not fair but come on i need chapman to bear down get this guy out there we please catch it please okay thank you we get out of it chapman's gonna have to close this thing out we need more runs let's try and tack on some more runs against song Wan. oh here is he goes with a pitch right down the middle i'm all over that come on Oh my gosh, seriously? Oh, this game sometimes, man. 1-2 count on Robinson Cano, trying to get a swing and a miss. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. And just like that, we're at 2-2. Two and two. I'm going with an inside fastball. Let's see if it can work. And he's watching it. Oh my gosh, what do I go with here? I'm going back to the fastball. Why not? It's his best pitch. Starting this inning off with a walk is not the way I envisioned it going, but this is going to be hit on the ground. Hopefully, we can get at least one out. All right, one out, runner on second. One out, runner on second base. The best closer in the game is on the mound trying to close this thing out. Let's see if we can do it. I'm going to have to get him to chase something because I really don't want to serve him up a fastball. I know he is sitting on it now. That's what he wants. Yeah, he was looking for fastball there, but it is going to be a strike. So I'm going to go back to a changeup. Low in the zone. He is swinging at it, but it's going to get past the catcher. Are you serious? Come on. Yeah, go back and get a little more casual next time, Fisk. But we do have a 1-2 count. What do I go with? I don't even know. High fastball, maybe? Let's see if we can get it. Nope, that's not even close. Seriously, Chapman, you've not been able to execute that at all. Going back to the fastball. Down. He's trying to go home. Please get rid of it. That is going to be a pickle. Let's see what we can do. Please run him down and tag him. Okay, thank you. That's the terrible animation with the tag, but we actually get him. That's huge. A roll this Chapman is pretty much out of energy, but I don't have anybody else in the bullpen that I want to use right now other than Chapman. I'd rather have him with no energy than anybody else. Is he stealing? Yeah, he is stealing and he is going to get it because that is a pass ball. Let's see if we can strike out David Wright, though. This is really nerve-wracking. A one-and-one one count. I'm going back down in the zone, trying to stay away from the fastball because he is really hunting for it right now as we have a one-and-two count. Come on. Execute this changeup down in the zone, and he is stealing on the pitch. We might throw him out. He is out. That's going to end the game. That is one of the most nerve-wracking games I have been a part of. But we are able to get the 3-2 victory. Kenny Lofton with a leadoff home run. And Chapman is able to come up clutch on the mound. That's what I'm talking about. There you guys have it. Another game for the books. This lineup is absolutely ridiculous. Hitting so many home runs so far with them. But we do move to 5-0. and I really like this lineup. We have a great hitting lineup. I mean, the lowest overall is Trevor Story. But he hits like a 90 overall diamond. And our pitching is even better with Chapman, Wilson, and Strickland. Could this be my first 12-0 team? We'll have to see. But if you guys are excited to maybe see my 9-game reward next episode, make sure to leave a like. But I appreciate all the support. Until the video later today, guys, have a good one.